Hey there. Uh, my name is Jorge. I am the person that is behind this channel. Uh, I'd like to make a, a different video compared to the ones that I, I like to do and the one that I expect to do. Uh, in this video, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how I came up to work for biomathematics, why that's so important to my life, and the, um, to a certain extent, why this channel is so important to me. Uh, as I have said in a, in a previous video, where I, I, I wish you all a, a wonderful new year, I have briefly talk about uh, how I believe biomathematics contributed to to the modern of COVID-19. Uh, I briefly comment about that, and I may I hope to try to may bring something about that, maybe invite someone, I don't know. But uh, the point is that I would like to talk a little bit about uh, how biomechanics came to my life, and the, maybe some expectation uh, that I have. Uh, and also, I not talk too much about that about that uh, on this video, but uh, I may I may come back later in other videos about my plans for the year for this channel. Uh, I will talk a more about on other video, but I have created a Patreon, which uh, if you are not familiar, Patreon is a way that we can contribute financially to the channel. Uh, I have it great, but I'm still make. I will make the video yeah, explain better how it works. Anyway, so I'd like to talk a little bit about how biomedical came to my life uh, and how somehow it contributed to my life as a, as a young scientist. Uh, some I believe it's a little bit hard to say when precisely biomedical came to my life because. Uh, in high school, uh, uh, in Brazil, you have essentially, I'm from Brazil, in Brazil, uh, we have essentially like uh, the basic school, we have the fundamental school and the, what they call high school. I'm not pretty sure how similar it is from USA, how similar or different it is from your country. But uh, in the fundamental school, I, um, I was pretty good at biology, also mathematics, English, and so on, but that was a kind of paradox because in general people would be good at, at let's say, uh, mathematics, but not biology and so on. But I somehow I felt comfortable if he, almost all discipline. I had some problem, for example, with history because I not I never had it and I still don't have a pretty good memory, so my memory is not the best. Uh, I, some most of the time I'm pretty good at logic, in the for example, probably problem of computer is something that I, I, I find somehow easy and fun, because, maybe because of the logic. But uh, so maybe biomedical came in my life, maybe in fundamental school, but if you want to go a little bit further, I still kept have a good grade in biology. When I decided to go to school, to, uh, to, to college or university, I don't know how it's called in your country, but here we call it university. Uh, I, I, I wasn't pretty sure what to do. I had some doubts. So I wanted to, I don't know about how it works in your country, but in my country, uh, you, you don't have like a place guaranteed in the university. You need to fight for that. And you fight by doing an exam. At least my time, about 2% of people yeah, would have a place, so pretty competitive. Uh, so I, I, at the time, I, I wanted I have a mixture between something that was not so difficult to do and something that to pass, and something that was not so out of my interest. So I came up with uh, production engineering, which was a suggestion of a friend, which a kind of uh, mentor of mine, and so on. Indeed, it was. Somehow good choice because production engineering is pretty open, uh, different from the other engineering. It does not close you uh, to a specific area. So I had the opportunity to learn about several topics, and the, it also gave me also the opportunity to be very dynamic. Here. In the I finished my undergraduate production engineering. If the people of physics uh, and chemistry, there was a lab 
that was a, a interim multidisciplinary lab. I was able to work through what we may call a maybe biomedical engineering. I don't know if you can call that. I was working with uh, a model for I that was maybe the first time I worked closely with biomathematics. So I I was working for a model for new NATO. Uh, they have judges, which is the kind of uh, new NATO disease that the liver is unable to break down with the rubin. So essentially the babies, uh, uh, they stay uh, yellow and they need some kind of uh, light bed, like blue light bed. And uh, that was maybe the first time I had contact with mathematics. After I finished my, my graduation, I, I wanted to study biomedical engineering. So at the, at the time I tried it, essentially three programs for a master of science. One in Brazil and two abroad. Ironically, I wasn't selected for biomedical engineering. I even tried again later, but I failed again. But at the time I was selected for computer, computational intelligence, which is a topic that I, I was pretty interested in still about artificial intelligence. Uh, and I also was later because the program had different uh, speed of selection. So after I was, I, let's say, some month studying computational, computational intelligence in Brazil, I was selected for this program in Europe that was applied mathematics. The program was somehow theoretical, and in the beginning of the program, I didn't do very well because it was like a uh, uh, theoretical mathematics and so on. Most of the people of the program, they were, they had a background in mathematics and so on. I was somehow, even if I liked mathematics, I was not so fast. Uh, the program was like an intensive program. So, after the, the coordinator talked, they talked to me, explained the situation, so on. I was not very happy because unfortunately I lost the scholarship uh, that I had. But he gave me a second option, which uh, there was a possibility to get another scholarship. And eventually, I was able to get it. It was a grant, as a matter of fact, because it's a difference between scholarship and grant. Scholarship to pay every month. Grant, you generally receive just one time. So, uh, the, uh, what he gave me as a selection was biomathematics, precisely biomathematics. At that time, I was not so. I knew I liked mathematics, I liked biology, but I was not expecting that. So, but uh, I didn't take long for me to accept because I knew that was what I wanted. They had like cell biology and so on, uh, molecular dynamics of bio, biochemistry. So I accepted. It was a pretty good decision. That was maybe officially the first time I, I, I entered in the world of biomedics. I studied system biology, I studied uh, molecular dynamics, I studied protein and so on. That was amazing. Maybe that was one of the best programs. I mean, it was pretty tough, difficult. I mean, the examination were difficult and so on, but maybe it was one of the best uh, moment in term of study of my life. That's when I fell in love with biomathematics officially. I had I sat with people with, that worked with bioengineering, and one of them became a supervisor. The two of them became a supervisor in my master of science. The other one became a supervisor at my PhD in collaboration with other people. So that was the first time in my master of science. But in, so in my PhD, I decided to go on. I, I was lucky enough to uh, be accepted by a Brazilian program that they, they gave me the scholarship for me to come back abroad. It was pretty amazing because the, the, the scholarship was not connected to any, any Brazilian university. It was just a scholarship. I could do whatever I wanted. And the, that was when I created this channel. That, that where, where, where I was able to make some contact. That where I was able to experiment with e learning, which you want to see now and which I expect to go on this year. So that is, that is my experience. I, 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 Somehow, I believe that biomathematics was already inside me. I mean, uh, I believe that what attract, what I mean, what makes me most uh, amazed about biomathematics, that just my maybe my opinion, that biomathematics makes you feel like he, uh, a learning person every day. I mean, when you, for example, uh, uh, the topic of my PhD 
about my method of science was about hormone called ghrelin. I didn't know even that hormone existed. I mean, imagine one day I, 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 I never imagined that I'd be working with the hunger hormone, that I'd be modeling how the appetite, how the body weight change. I mean, that's amazing. I had no idea I would be working with that. But that's, uh, maybe that's what amazed me the most because in all my undergraduation, my bachelor, I worked with another area as well that was called the operational research. Essentially, operational research, you have to make modeling of a different error. Similar to biomathematics, so you have to learn a lot because it's not enough to have the mathematical model. So the best, the best experience in my life as a, as a scientist, a young scientist as you, was when I had the opportunity to learn new things. Because, for example, in the worst experience of my life was when I had to do the same thing, for example, my first my first postdoc, I'm finished, I just finished the second postdoc. My first postdoc was not very good. I mean, I didn't do very well, I didn't like very well. I Somehow I didn't like, but maybe one of the reasons that the environment I was. I was in the environment, most of the people were computer scientists. I have nothing against computer scientists, but it's hard to work in an environment where people does not have this kind of uh, flex ma flexible mind. It seems that it's trivial, but it's not. Like, several things in life, you think that trivial, such as concentration and so on. But the mentality, the mind, the mindset to to work with something that you don't know, is something that you have to train every day because uh, you, you are going to suck. You are going to be stupid for a very long period of time. My PhD, I had to study, um, had to study physiology, sometimes even anatomy. I had to talk, I, I, I walk, I participate, I, I attend to class of pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics. I, so essentially, I wasn't, uh, I was in the middle of doctors, medical doctors. I, I mean, imagine an engineering, mathematician, or whatever you want to call me, in the middle, in the classroom of doctors. It's like. It's, it's crazy. I mean, but but I like it. I mean, I like when you uh, when you are in an environment that you don't know. For example, my my for example, my postdoc now that I just finished. I start something that I didn't know. I mean, I just I was accepted. People offered me to do this. I I didn't like too much, but I liked it anyway. But so I start learning and so on, and so on. And this process of learning that was attracted me about 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 biomathematics because you have to learn. You have to experiment, you have to fail, you have to... Uh, I even heard that once, once I read in a book about system biology, that system biology is error that you, for those that want to fail, because that's that's error, that most of, not just system biology, but most of the error of biomathematics in general, you need to keep open mind, because for example, model, I, I worked about the three years, two years with a model, and it just is one model, so all this hard work, and that if, that does not even change my life and somehow. Because, because if you work with finance, at least you know how to make investment. But when you work with something like you, that is not so direct, applicability is not very direct, you have to like it. And I, I enjoy this process of learning. So that's it. I just want to share with you my experience with biomathematics, my passion with biomathematics. Uh, you are welcome to comment on the video how, for example, why you are coming to this channel, why you are so interested in, in this channel. I know that the number of subscribers is, is, is increasing. That's one of the reasons that I'm interested to spend more time with this channel. This year, I finished my second postdoc, so I want to give more time to this channel now. I promised last year, I bet it seems to work very well. This year, I'll do my best to give attention again. As I said, I created a Patreon where you can make donations to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try that, that's an experiment. Who knows what can come out? Uh, who knows if someone wants to help financially in the, so I can dedicate. I really would like to create lectures and so on and make somehow it available. Uh, I learn a lot, I, now I learn a lot from YouTube, from videos and so on, about programming and so on. Maybe I, I can give it back somehow, anyway, I give my time, maybe someone wants to give some kind of financial support. So that's it, you have my, you can comment on the video, um, I'll make sure somehow to give you some kind of email if you want to talk privately. 
uh, but the, the, the important is uh, that this year I'll make my best to give more attention to this channel. So, I'll see you around.